Uh, anyway, the, the soup. See, so you put milk in it instead of water. No, no, I know this. I know this. Thanks for patience. Doesn't know the territory. No. He could, though. If anybody can do it, it's Monica. May I ask dance? Sure. Nick, how'd you figure it out? That's your angel. That's Andrew. Well, that's her, Tess, the girl I saw in the park. Oh, Zoe. Now there's a sweet kid that doesn't belong here. Excuse me. She's right. She's lonely and desperate, and she's our assignment. Pretty soon you won't need me anymore, Miss Wings. Yes, she's our assignment. Part of it. Whoa. Let the games begin. I know what that means. We all know what that means, baby. Praise God who has kept us in life and sustained us to this moment. Amen. The synagogue has its new Torah. Mazel tov. Hello, Rose. Who are you? My name's Andrew. You look familiar. That beautiful glow. You look like the angel in the painting. I'm a different kind of angel. An angel? Monica was right. I made the right decision. I chose the right lamppost, right? <laughs> yes, you did, Rose. Monica, I thought... Yes, I know, Andrew. But I have a message for Rose. Could you give us a few minutes, please? Of course. You know him? I thought it was the medication. Because I thought he said he was an angel. He is an angel, Rose. An angel of death. What? I am an angel, too. I knew it. I knew it. There was something about you not normal. Uh, no offense. Well, now you know. Well, isn't this something? Two angels. I mean, I prayed for a miracle, but nothing like this. Not, not for me, but for my daughter. <sighs> you know, I've seen more people die than, than I can possibly count. And I've always thought it was an honor and and it's a privilege to be able to escort them home in their days like today. Do you know that he beat her so badly that she doesn't remember her name? The only thing she remembers about the guy is his boots. Red cowboy boots. I mean, she has... She has parents. She has, she has kids. A job, she has a life, and tonight the only thing she remembers is red cowboy boots. She's alive. 
Yeah. But the next one might not be so fortunate. You did all you could. But why is it that I only get the help afterwards? Why can't I do my job beforehand? I don't know. Sometimes I feel so helpless, too. Angel babies. Sometimes the battle is not ours to fight. I'd like to run a brain scan. Do some more comprehensive blood work. It isn't necessarily Alzheimer's, though, Doctor, is it? Well, the indicators are there. The brain scan will tell us a little more. And we'll run some other tests to eliminate other possibilities. It just... It came on so fast. Everybody progresses differently. Let's just get these tests scheduled. And then we'll go from there. Well, I don't understand this. Well, maybe they should run a brain scan on you, Miss Waynes. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand why this is happening. Why don't we just take you home? I mean, back, back to heaven. Yes. No, I have to stay here. Perhaps it's not something to get worried about. I mean, do you remember that time when I became an elderly human being temporarily? So you think we should just ignore this? Well, no, but Tess... Don't butt test me, Miss Wings. This is new territory. We don't know how it's going to work out. So what should we do? Finish our assignments. Tess, if this is Alzheimer's and it's progressing this quickly, there may come a time when we... I need supervision. Yeah. That's true. What's your point? Well, if Monica needs to spend time with David and my assignments are taking me all over the world, then... I might need to be put someplace. Yeah. Like a nursing home? Fine. Absolutely not. Excuse me? We started this assignment together, and we will finish it together, and then we'll go on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and that's the end of that discussion. Monica. Why is this happening? I don't know. But God reveals everything in his own time. Yes, uh, David, I will get those numbers for you. But it, it's just that I've been running a bit behind. Okay, fine. I'll see you then. I'm messing everything up. You need to cut yourself some slack. You are one angel, and you're doing the work for two, and you're spending all your free time here with Tess. I yelled at her, Andrew. God, forgive me. I yelled at her. I know it's not her fault, but I really needed her to help me, and she wasn't paying attention, and I... Monica, I don't think the test can help you anymore. I know.